Hi, welcome to 12 Volt Cooking. Today we're going to open up a, a brand new box with a 12 volt portable stove made by Road Pro. And I just thought making a little video is easier to see the size instead of the still photographs. So let's give it a shot. First, I'll show you the outside. I bought this for 35 bucks at a truck stop. Let's get it up here so you can read it. Plugs directly into your 12 volt power port. Prepare a meal or use it to keep pre cooked food hot. Unplug and take with you. Stays warm for hours. The ultimate lunchbox. It's true. It works really good. Okay. As you see here, the latch is really good because it has rubber seals. So this latch holds the seals tight. It's got rubber seals all the way around, top and bottom. A uh, five and a half foot cord and a little spot there to fold it back up, put it back in there. Right here's a 15 amp uh, standard automotive blade fuse. Uh, easy cleanup with aluminum cooking surface. One thing that's really nice too is the top has it also. So if you're simmering something in here and it splashes up on there, you also get that easy clean surface up there. So yes, you could do it like that, or you can buy these aluminum pans that fit in it. At the truck stops, they're like a, I think they're three ninety nine for a three pack. I think, if maybe two ninety nine. But anyway, here's what you do: just go to your grocery store. And buy standard medium loaf pans. There's the size you need right there. It's just the standard medium loaf pans. They are, here's a three pack. You can see there's three of them in here. And, well, it's out of focus. Anyway, this three pack is 88 cents at the grocery store. So, you figure when you're making a meal, if you don't want to wash this thing out, just use one of those and it's going to cost you 30 cents to avoid that cleanup. Also, if you're doing baked potatoes, a lot of things you can just wrap up in a Heavy duty aluminum foil and put it in there. I do a lot of sweet potatoes. I just wrap it up in foil and drop it in there. I don't need to use a pan. Okay, I want to show you here. This is important stuff. Uh, convenient 12 volt operation. Fused power cord plugs in a vehicle's 12 volt power port. Cooks or warms up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, insulated design keeps it warm or cold. Aluminum cooking surface for fast and easy cleanup. A little cord storage area and right here is important voltage 12 volts fuse 15 amps cord length five and a half feet capacity is one quart the current draw is 12 amps 144 watts so it will kill your car batteries you're gonna leave your motor running okay that's just more sales stuff the yeah, picture is kind of a good idea what you can do in it honestly what I usually do is I bake uh, squash I like to bake squash or I'll slice up squash and put in uh, some sauce like tomato sauce maybe a little bit of meat and simmer it for a couple hours and it comes out really good uh, rice and oatmeal stuff like that why can't I open it? oh I don't have it yeah. here we go okay let's open this thing get rid of the box get rid of the plastic there as you can see this, this is mostly what I wanted to show you in a video. This is about the size of a lunchbox right there. The only difference is that right here, we open it up, pull the cord out, plug it in a cigarette lighter, and it's going to cook your stuff for you. It's a five and a half foot cord. That fuse we talked about is right here. 15 amp automotive blade fuse, just standard. There's that non-stick cook surface on the top, which is nice, because I simmer a lot of things, and it will splash up there. And there's that non-stick cook surface there. I'll show you this real fast. As you can see, these pans just fit right in there. Close it up. Latch it down. Plug it in. And cook away. So if I put rice in there, I could do that in an hour later. A little less than an hour, it's done and hot. You got a hot meal whether you're at work, uh, whatever you're doing. Okay, let's show you a little bit of the instructions. There's this because there's not really much to it. Um, it's got your standard important safeguards, you know, like it's hot, things like that. Don't put it in water. Uh, it says never use AC current to power this unit. So it's just the standard stuff. Um, safety things here it's just standard it's hot uh, oh use the appliance with your engine on to avoid draining your battery and that is true uh, do not use stove while vehicle is moving to avoid spills 
Okay, so there's the there's the instructions right there. Basically, they don't want you to to be driving around when you use it. Uh, unplug unit when finished. Never touch cooking when it's on. Unit is protected with an internal thermostat and fuse. Okay, um, I'll wash it first. Anyway, operation always put on a level surface. Food can be wrapped in aluminum foil to keep stove clean. Uh, for easy cleanup, oh, I don't have it up here. Anyway, for easy cleanup, use the disposable aluminum loaf pans. You know it will reach 300 degrees. Be careful not to touch hot surface. When cooking, make sure food is making contact with bottom surface to ensure even heating. Okay, here's some sample cooking times. Hot dogs, five minutes. Rice, 30 minutes. Now, for me, it takes almost an hour to cook rice because 30 minutes to cook it, but you got to add, you know, 20 minutes for the thing to heat up. So 55 minutes, 60 minutes, and my rice is done. Soups, approximately 20 minutes. Baby food says approximately five minutes. Put a little water. If you're doing baby food, put a little water down in here and then put the jars open and it'll warm them up. Plug it in, it'll warm up. Close the top and warm them up. Uh, right there it says place water in stove and set open jars in the water. Anything you put in there, don't put closed cans in there. It's, make sure you poke holes in it or open the top. Uh, cleaning it, allow it to cool, you know, uh, wash with warm water and mild soap. Do not submerge unit. Do not clean with scouring pads to avoid scratch marks. Actually, that one I didn't know. And then the back is just the warranty. So that's it. Mostly, like I said, I just wanted to give you an idea of the size. And that's, it's, it's the, you'll hear a lot of times we call it the lunchbox cooker. That's why. It's just like a lunchbox. Um, except you plug it in, it'll heat up. Some things it's not going to cook because it only gets to 300 degrees. However, like I'll put... In, these, in this pan, look at my site attached to this 12 volt cooking and I'll put like I'll slice up zucchini maybe I'll put a little can of meat in there, a can of barbecued meat in there or something or maybe some tomato sauce um, put it in there, plug it in and about two hours later and it's simmering and bubbling and cooked really good so 300 degrees has some limitations but it'll cook you a really good meal okay that's what I wanted to show you thanks for watching and be sure to visit our site 12 volt cooking and you'll see some basic cooking times for like oatmeal, rice, uh, things like that. And you'll see some really interesting recipes too. Thank you. We'll see you on our site.